Hello, my name is Ama and welcome to my lifestyle channel. Today I'm doing another head wrap tutorial, but today's one is a little bit different because it's more in depth. Today's video's plan is for me to explain which head scarf, the size, the length work best for which head wrap style. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of people on Instagram, which is where I post most of my pictures, such as these ones. Another lady the other day sent me a message asking me what scarf are you using, what kind of scarf do you use. So I had to explain to her it's not about the material. You can use silk, you can use cotton, you can use even wool scarf. The technique is exactly the same. It works. It's not about the material. And another lady asked me where do you buy your scarf. Like I went to buy mine at uh, Mr. Price the other day. I don't know. I tried with it. It's just not working. I've tried the style over and over. I'm just not getting it. And I'm thinking to myself, what is there not to get? This is so easy. You just take a scarf. You wrap it around your head. You tuck it in, and then that's it. But then again, I realize that people are doing head wrap style such as this one. With the, with the material length that just doesn't work for that particular style because you need a length, a certain length for a certain style. So that's where I think a lot of people are not getting the styles or they're just trying and not, it just doesn't cover. Whether you have a style that needs a little bit of smaller material because it doesn't cover a lot and another one will need more material because there's quite a lot for it to it needs to go around. So that's when I decided that I need to do this video to explain further. So it's going to be a little bit long, but please stay with me and keep watch until the very end because I'm going to explain each style and then I'm going to take you through the material. Well, no, I'm going to take you through the length that I'll suggest that which length work for which style. So it's going to be more explainer. So it's going to be more explaining more in depth so that you know if you want to accomplish this kind of a style this is that the kind of a length of material you need to work with so let's get on with this I don't want to waste any more time because it's quite a lot of explaining to do so we're gonna start with this one this is one of my favorite one and these are the babies that I'm gonna be working with today so stay with me it's gonna be a while and for that one, you need something square material. Not a lot of length, but a bit square. Everybody's trying to tell me that I'm crazy. And this is polyester, light material. It's supposed to be very slippery. Now this style needs a little bit of a longer length because of going round and round around your head. Decent, 
but the length is really long. Now we have this style, this style requires uh, if you have afro so you're gonna leave your afro hanging outside showing outside or if you have braids that you have piled on top of your head so you want them to show but you want to have a scarf so for that particular style you need something like a bandana so the bandana is small we need something smaller it's small enough to just cover around the head and tie right on the front and make some sort of a cute bow if you want and tuck it in this way you can have your braids showing on top or your afro like I did right here so you can cover around and leave to show your edges if that's what you want and then have your hair here so you need a very smaller scarf so that you don't have a lot of material to work with or too big something that you'll be able to go easily around your head and then come back again without having to work with too much material like something like this is very square so you can literally just work around the edges and it's not too much length that you need you like you end up not knowing what to do with it so you can literally just so with your hair here you can have this is the front of your head or you can put it on the side and then you can have your hair spilling on the front so um, another head wrap uh, style my favorite one is this one you guys know that i call this one the goddess style this one you need a lot of material let me show you bandana but today I want to see how long I can make it go so we're gonna go crazy and create more length I want to see if I can make it look like Erika Badu one you know Erika Badu always have the longest goddess style that you can see like whoa how did you make it go so high so today that's what i'm gonna do
so much and I've seen them some of them go as high as or higher than this and I always wonder oh my god what must be under there so I will admit this is a bit heavier because I have a bini and uh, two and four scarves I have a bini and four scarves all together here so you need quite a lot to put under in order for it to hold to be up high so it's not light at all it's a bit heavy i love it anyway so this is my in-depth more explained uh head wrap tutorial where you get to see each length and works for which style so that you won't be confused next time to try to do this baby with something this small remember this remember how small it was this will not do because it just won't go anywhere the length is absolutely crazy small you might try it might come up here and then and then you're trying to go round and round it just doesn't matter a nice thing about the head wraps or turbans or dukes or whatever you call them you can do absolutely anything there's no wrong there's no right there's no correct way of doing it everyone experiment and come up with a different style this is something new and different every time when i go on instagram or uh, even tiktok or even youtube i see something different every time and then i'm like oh, i didn't know you can do that so i think with your dukes or your scarf you can literally explore and do something like this i've never done before and you just wrap it around you tie it you tuck it in you look at yourselves like we're good to go so feel free to explore feel free to come up with something new that you haven't even seen me doing and then explore with that practice a little bit look at yourself in the mirror see if you like it and rock it there's no right way to do it there's no wrong way to do it but you must be conscious of the length that you are using for a certain style that would it go would it be too much i hope this makes sense to you i hope some people will be watching and say ah finally it made sense if it makes sense to you please comment in the section below and let me know that actually this makes sense to you and if this uh is something that you're going to be trying you're going to be trying any of this but this is heavy because be prepared to <laughs> to be carrying on a bit of an extra height a, a bit of an extra weight but i love it though and anyway, that's, that's it for today. I hope to see you on my next video. I hope you enjoyed this content. Let me know if it's this the kind of content that you enjoy from me because as some of you might know, on my YouTube channel, it's a lifestyle channel, so I throw in anything and everything to do with my lifestyle. I will see you on my next video.